Hi, Lee Phillips again. I want to talk for a minute about an issue that's become quite personal to me. Should I change my corporation to an LLC? And I'm going to say the answer is yes. Probably absolutely yes. In fact, I have run Legalese Corporation for the last 32, 35 years, whatever it is, and I am now changing my company to an LLC. The reason is the LLC has the exact same corporate shield as a corporation, but it also has this reverse asset protection, aka the charging order protection, which protects the company from the personal liabilities of the owners. Now, I don't think as an owner I have any personal liabilities, uh, but who knows what's going to happen. I have a friend who recently, uh, by the fluke of a circumstance, uh, is being sued and there's a good chance he'll lose the lawsuit because of nothing that he even did wrong. But he's being sued, he has a nice company, the company is 35, 40 years old, it's a good company. His sons are taking over the company. It's a family company. He owns all of the stock. It's a corporation. And in this lawsuit, he may well lose that stock. Well, as soon as he loses the stock, whoever has the stock owns his company. It doesn't matter that his sons have worked in the company for years and they want to operate it. In this lawsuit, he loses that stock, he loses the company. The kids lose all of their future in this company. Everything's gone. If he had had the company as an LLC, then he would have gotten a judgment against him. They would have had to have gotten a charging order and basically put a lien against the company until the company issued a profit, they don't get anything, and the company's probably not going to issue many profits because why would I give the profit to that guy anyway? So at that point he goes in and he negotiates with the people who are suing him and says, you know, you're not going to get anything out of this company. Uh, I will pay you off X number of dollars, uh, pennies on the dollar and you go away. Works actually pretty good, but he didn't do that. Now I have a corporation. I've had a corporation for years. I have no creditors. I have nobody that's coming after me. I hope nobody ever does come after me. But, and in fact, my company doesn't own a lot of assets. So I go, well, you know, do I change it to an LLC from a corporation? It's been a legalese corporation. And the answer is, yeah, I'm going to change it. Oh, we have some contracts, we have some computers, we've got some stuff that the company owns. Um, so why even bother with it? Let's just change it to an LLC, and if I get in trouble, the company isn't in jeopardy. Um, so today, the answer is, you've got a corporation? Yeah, I'd change it to an LLC. Almost no question in my mind, I would do that. When you do that, you're going to have to do a bunch of stuff. You've got to change all of your letterheads and your business cards and, and your products and, and all of that sort of stuff. And it's going to take me a while to run through all of the inventories and things that I have. And I have to notify everybody, hey, I'm not a corporation anymore. I'm an LLC. You got to start thinking of me as an LLC, not a corporation. Because if I don't notify them, they have the right to do that. And by the way, you were just notified. So uh, uh, I'm notifying you, okay? I'm not going to be a corporation anymore. I'm going to be an LLC. So hopefully that will protect the company from what happens to me. And yeah, let's change the corporations to LLCs. They have the same corporate shield.
same tax structure, whatever tax structure you've got, and they have the charging order protection, which does come into play. And so let's just do it. Lee Phillips talking on, should I change my corporation to an LLC?